Hello, good morning folks and welcome once again. This is Rabbi Afol as usual. I've been looking forward to this uh, chat. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, herbs in general. Um, but we'll talk about herbs uh, that can be used in driving away negative forces, malicious spirits, ghosts, um, incubus and succubus, these herbs that can be used in driving them away. I wanted to pick some local herbs uh, which could be of benefit to us, but unfortunately, um, some of the herbs I could not get now. I think next time I'll come along with some of the local herbs that we actually use in driving away these negative forces. I'll mention some of the herbs and then I'll show exactly uh, what we these herbs do for us and how one can put them to good use uh, in driving away these negative forces. In fact, if we have these negative forces in our homes and around us, they sort of give us a lot of hell of problems. Uh, it could cause people not to like you. It could cause you sicknesses, regular sicknesses. It could cause you financial losses. Uh, it could cause you forgetfulness. It could, uh, it could cause you, I mean, what have you? A lot of, a lot of mishaps can happen just because of these negative entities that surround one's environment that or uh, which uh, is around you. Here in Africa, a lot of people can project this spirit to you through juju and through witchcraft spirit. But fortunately, these herbs can help us uh, cleanse, remove and drive away these forces and then protect oneself. Uh, these herbs are uh, mentioned here. These herbs uh, have been created by divine. Uh, at the time of creation, when they were creating them, certain forces were at play. I'm talking of certain planetary energies were at play. So these forces were the forces that actually, um, that actually helped these Helps to acquire uh, their various, uh, uh, let's say, powers. They, they acquire their various powers. Now, uh, every herb that you see, every herb that was created by divine has got two uses. One is for medicine and two is for spiritual. So every herb has got a medicinal use and a spiritual use. But for now, I'm not going into the medicinal use but I'll go into the spiritual use because I double up also as a herbalist and I can dispense some of this herb for our uses. I'm a registered herbalist with the Ghana, um, the Ghana Ministry of Health. I'm a registered as a traditional doctor so I can also dispense but for this purpose it is only for the spiritual uses that I am uh, teaching these herbs so that we can drive away some of these negative forces around us and I'll show you how to apply them in your life so that you can uh, protect yourself with some of these herbs and uh, just like I said initially I should have brought some of the local herbs these local herbs uh, some of them are very potent I got just about two and I will show them here but I'll be mentioning some of them in person so that in the near future, those of you who will still want to can reach me on my cell phone. I'll leave my number below. You can reach me on my cell phone. And I may mention the name uh, in the various dialect or their botanical names so that if you want to source them. Because some of these herbs are peculiar uh, to Africa and those that are peculiar to Europe, then I'll just mention all of them person. Now the first herb I'm going to talk about is agrimony. In actual fact, agrimony is a herb that banishes off evil spirits and uh, it deflects hostile spirits. It you know, drives them completely away from your sin, drives them completely away from your homes, drives them completely around you and then when an, a, 
the hostile spirits want to come, it deflects them from you. The next one is Angelica. Angelica is a head that I use to protect uh, for uh, evil uh, protection from all evil spirits. So it becomes a protective head, and that is what I use uh, for protection of uh, all evil spirits. Then we've got Anis. Anis is also a herb, and they are very common in our market. Those of you who want to buy them can go to in Ghana. You can go to Nima in Accra. Uh, they, are, they are herbal. Uh, this thing, their herbal market, and you just ask for anise, and you will get them. In fact, anise is used in banishing demons. It is used in banishing demons completely. Then the next powerful herb is asophatida. Asophatida drives away uh, demons, and then all sorts of nasty spirits, all sorts of nasty spirits, it drives them away. Then it also repels hostile spirits from around you and then in your home. Then we have the uh, basil. The basil is, uh, let me show you, we have basil. Now this is basil. This is basil. And uh, basil is also good to repel and then protect you from all negative forces, all negative forces. Then we have cloves. Cloves is also very common on our market. Cloves is very, uh, you can buy them at the Nima market and uh, it repels evil spirit. That is the work of cloves. Cloves repels evil spirit. Then we have the almighty garlic. Almighty garlic. The almighty garlic keeps spirit, evil spirits away. So around your doors at, and at the edges of your window, you can just push a uh, pin. Uh, uh, some of these garlic around. Yes, this is uh, garlic. This is garlic. You just remove the clove, remove the clove, then you pin it at the doors. Or you can also use it in your bath, as I will have you food. Then uh, we have got the sage. Sage is also a very powerful uh, herb and used. Uh, normally, I paint them as incense to drive away all negative energies and then entities from their home. I paint them in an incense banner. I just put the hair and paint them. Or else I go through the various rooms. And when I have something I want to cleanse, like I, I bought a new vessel, I want to cleanse it of all the negative spirits I, or neg in a negative entities around it, I just pass it through the smoke before I purify. Uh, before I, I consecrate it. In the time, from my rosary, when I buy a rosary, a new rosary, I pass it through the smoke of sea because it has that power of uh, cleansing this thing. Then, vinegar. Vinegar disrupts disrupt magic. And I'm talking of black magic. Vinegar disrupts magic. It stops ghosts and evil spirits from manifesting and keeps the demons away. Vinegar. It stops and disrupts magic and then it's, it makes sure that ghosts and evil spirits are driven away when they are used. Then we have got St. John's Ward. St. John's Ward also drives away negative and evil entities. Then uh, Dragon Blood is an excellent, it's excellent for exorcism. It's excellent for exorcism because it also uh, drives away malicious uh, entities. Uh, I have here one egg. This one is also very good. We call it prekese. Prekese, that is our local uh, dialect. Uh, I'm yet to find its botanical name. I think it's peculiar to Africa and some uh, countries. And then uh, it's used for spiritual bath. Spiritual bath. And it drives away all the. <coughs> sorry. It drives away all negativity and evil spirits. This hair, particular hair, is also a very good medicinal. It's good to bring down a um, uh, pressure, pressure when somebody is suffering from pressure. That's the medicinal use. But for its spiritual use, it is used to you boil it in the form of tea. You add sea salt to it and use it for bath to remove negative entities around you. In order to make things very easy for people, 
I've just combined all these herbs I've just explained and I've used it to prepare a spiritual soup for bathing so that when you bath the soup, all these benefits can reach you. And I've not only used it after finishing, I consecrated it in my altar room where I've said various prayers over it so that whoever uses it and has negative spirits or entities uh, around him, the spirits can be driven away. Thank you comrades uh, for always subscribing to this channel and then I also look forward always to meet you to have chats, such uh, chats of holy chats. Uh, those of you who want, you can order it from any part of the world and I will make sure I send it to you. This is Akonfuna. Akonfuna in actual fact in our local dialect means shield. Shield stop evil soap. This one was done by me particularly and I've used all the uh, herbs that I've just mentioned. They've all been combined and been made into a soap which you can use to bath and you acquire all this, this uh, benefit. Thank you and bye.